Live Rome Party Studio. Live Jerome Harden Studios. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the last of my discast. I will say about so you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll see you later. What's up on JR? You sure alright? Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the last of my update that I'm willing to tell you about, so as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. Hello, my name is Jerome Harden, my founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studio. So, here's the topic we're going to talk about. Today is the uh, Friday on uh, May 8th, um, 2020, and um, today we're going to talk about this whole coronavirus thing. And by the way, I got one of these masks since everybody's wearing one now, so. Alright, let's get... Uh, this stuff started. So, um, the, we haven't or never heard of this coronavirus, and this is May. We had, uh, over a lot of cases since, uh, March, and to tell you that I am getting really tired of this coronavirus crap, because it gets on my nerves so much that, you know, when I, when it, I talk about it gets on my nerves, I mean, people be just, you know, Buying whatever they want, they're hogging stuff up, not sharing it for everyone, and this frustrates everyone. Cause on top of that, everyone lost their jobs. You know, hours getting cut back. You know, whenever you're hungry in the middle of the night, you want to get something to eat, or you realize there's nothing there to eat. You know, you are run out of luck till the next day. Cause you know everything's closed um, after eight o'clock, and you know you can't really go anywhere except if you want to go out for drive or go out for gas. I mean, there are some few stores that are open to allow you to do that but um besides that um the white house has put a lot of strict restriction on businesses and you know mine is a home-based business when it comes to graphic design and, you know i just uh be at home doing graphic designs anyway but what about everything else i mean schools are closed i mean no prom graduating is limited or held back on a later date i mean I already heard that, you know, graduations uh, won't start until July, or is it? I mean, is it even true that, you know, they're going to hold graduation at July? Because I heard like that um, people are going to hold graduation or drive-by graduations or something like they're going to line up cars saying, here, pick up your graduation, or they're going to call your name. I don't know how that works, but, you know, anyways, um, well, back to uh, the school part of this coronavirus crap, because, you know, I'm so mad that this is 2020. I mean, you know, the reason that I figure 2020 is going to be a perfect year because the year 2000 is 20 years ago. The 20th century is 20 years ago, and this is the year 2020. So, um, to me, like, uh, put 2020 and 20 together, I mean, that's a perfect year. But, you know, is 2020 mean it's going to be a apocalypse or is it going to be so many deaths? I mean, not to mention that, you know, you'll... The U.S. has the leading case of coronavirus cases and the leading cause of death. Um, I just recently read on the uh, article that, you know, there are over 70,000 deaths here in the United States and people are doing the best they can. And by the way, I salute all the doctors, I salute all the nurses, even the nurses around where I live that are doing what they can to stop this spread of this coronavirus because you know i just want everything to get back to normal as soon as possible hopefully everything will die down by the summertime or i don't know about that but i don't think it's going to be possible but i hope it is but you know it's just like you know people can't do anything now like a lot of people lost their jobs you know people are going to different sources for money like people are losing their homes people are like you know I appreciate that uh, mortgage companies and landlords are just, you know, doing the same thing. Like, you know, they are holding off rent payments or just working with the tenants that are, you know, behind because of this crap. But, you know, like some of the companies like, um, say, uh, debt collectors, uh, bill collectors, all that stuff, they don't even care um, if you make it or not. They just, you know, keep harassing you, keep uh, sending you notices, saying you owe this, you owe so much money, how much you owe and all that stuff. I mean... This is not the time for me to be asking for money. This is the time, you know, how are you going to solve this problem? How are you going to get through this? I mean, and, um, anyways, like, um, 
with me, I take this uh, coronavirus seriously. I don't really go out in public anymore, except when I uh, go to the grocery store and keep my distance. I mean, and also I can go to parks and stuff. I mean, where I can get some fresh air. I mean, around me, uh, malls are still closed. Uh, uh, big box stores, like, except Walmart is still closed. I mean, you can't really do anything. And, you know, up in New York, it's really, really bad up there right now because so many people are dying. And, you know, it's not just... And uh, to top it all off, the news are even saying that, you know, they are try they, uh, saying that, you know, the only way you can... Well, the only way you can die from this virus is, you know... Where if you're old or have pre-existing conditions such as uh, kidney problems, uh, liver problems, uh, common cold, or you know kidney failure, diabetes, or you know something like that. But you know, no matter how old you are, no matter how if you're healthy or not, you can still get in. You can still die. I just read an article about that. That I seen people dying, seeing people remembered. Um, as so young as, you know, five years old or an infant. I mean, it's really sad, really. I mean, you know, I could get it too, but, you know, you just have to take this uh, shit seriously, you know? Yeah, it's very sad, you know. People are fighting over groceries, fighting over what they need. Like, uh, say for instance, like, the main uh, 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 items that are gone right now in stores is toilet paper, uh, paper towels, and, you know, and uh, I've even heard on the on the news that you know, like the pork processing uh, plants are just you know holding off for them distributing pork this time because, like I just said, people don't want to be selfish and people don't want to you know, abide by the rules and you know it's just like you know everybody else is not obliged by the uh, stay safe or safe at home or social distancing they just want to be hard-headed they just want to have fun like it's normal they don't even care they want to die i mean this is the reason why it's taking this so to, to this is why this is taking so long to you know just you know it's just taking so long that you know it's going things are going to go back to normal because people want to be hard-headed people don't want to listen and um it's just like this and i just went to the store today and all the stuff that i need pork products i mean even if I need something to fix my bicycle, like I showed you, but, you know, everything, all that's gone too, because, you know, like I said, people want to be selfish, they don't even care, and, you know, I complain to Walmart, like I mainly go to for groceries, and on my knees, like, you know, everything's gone, I even complain to the manager, or what I normally go to, that, you know, that, uh, I, uh, was very upset about this whole coronavirus crap thing, and, People want to hog everything. The spot that's uh, putting signs say you can get two items at a time. Even though you told that person off, like you can't do that, you can't do this. They just want to get smart with you. And you know, like I said, I'm showing you the videos on how people react when you need certain stuff and they not letting you get it. They hog all the stuff and they just want to start fights, start arguments, start all this drama or whatever. I mean, I feel for that person because you know that just shows them that you know you're not playing. I mean. It's just like, um, you want to, um, they act like really, uh, big, uh, they act like savages for real. I mean, sorry I couldn't talk right now, I could talk, uh, perfectly, but, you know, I'm just, uh, speaking a lot of words at once because, you know, I just need to, you know, get these, uh, get this, uh, situation addressed, um, uh, because, you know, you see, uh, I'm not very happy right now because despite, you know, I'm beginning money, uh, doing business, I mean, I've been really busy, but I can't go anywhere I mean, look how it's, how it's affecting me because, you know, I can't go anywhere, do some work, stay focused. I'm stuck at home um, because, you know, I don't want to get sick. I don't want to die. I mean, I just don't want to take the risk. So, you know, I'm sorry to for those that um, I'm taking so long to get projects done. But you just got to understand that, you know, it's, re it's very critical out here. Um, you know, it's just like, um, it's very critical that, you know, you go out and, you know, if you want to um, get something to eat or you want to sit at the mall, you want to do your work and where people, there's a lot of people there. I mean, like, it's very crazy out here, folks. You know, it's just, you know, I just don't want to, you know, be the person that dies. I mean, so far, anybody that I know right now is not, or anybody that I know is, they, don't, they haven't died from the virus or 
people I may have known may have gotten the coronavirus. I don't know, but you know, it's just like this. I mean, how would you feel if you lose a loved one to this uh, coronavirus and people are doing nothing about it? They just want to keep reporting on it. They uh, promising they're gonna find a vaccine, but you know, there's a lot of people saying they don't want to take it. They just want to stay home and they just want to relax. You know, hopefully this uh, virus is uh, got over with. But you know. Do you know this virus originated from China? Um, I heard China is uh, doing better now. Uh, the coronavirus has gone out, out of this country. I mean, the first uh, worst hit country that has the virus is Italy, and now we're very ahead of them. Um, where I'm at right now, I'm in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Um, the county is Madison, and uh, the state of Alabama has over near 9,000 cases of the coronavirus, and so far, over 230 people have died. I mean, isn't that crazy? I mean, I feel scared for this country, for real. Because, you know, it's getting serious out here. It's getting ridiculous. You know, people are just don't want to listen. They just want to keep doing what they're doing like this normal. They don't want to do social distancing despite efforts of doing it, doing so. So, uh, what is, um, what effect on these rules is going to take? I mean, what are they doing to enforce these rules? Well, at first I thought, you know, what they are proposing is they are issuing a thousand dollar fine for, you know, if you go uh, going out really late, you know, like you've been outside, you're not supposed to do, like all this stuff. Here in Alabama, no such rule has happened here. Um, just, you know, go about their business, but you can go out, um, if you need to take a jog at night, you know, do all the other stuff you need to do like go out and all that stuff you can do that but you know everything's gonna be closed except you know like if you need to get some money out the bank or you need to go to a convenience store like uh, this is crazy um i don't know what they're gonna do But yeah, folks, um, yeah, so this is what's going on right here. But anyways, um, before I end this newscast right here, um, I just, you know, want to take the time to thank everyone that has very been patient, you know, uh, waiting out this virus to get over with. I just wanted everything to be over with, too. You know, this is just not, you know, um... This is really crazy right here, folks. You know, people don't want to listen. They just want to, you know, do whatever they want to do. And, you know, it's really crazy, folks. I mean, like, um, I'm hoping that, you know, this virus dies down. But I don't think it's going to um, go away anytime soon unless, you know, something is, uh, is seriously being done. So, I just really, I'm just ready to go back to the mall, shop for my new clothes, you know, go back to, you know doing some work at public places like I normally do, you know, just to keep the distraction away, but I'm stuck at home right now doing, you know, working, you know, I've been procrastinating a lot since this uh, coronavirus crap has hit uh, the United States, and uh, it's, I'm very upset, you know, the U.S. is the leading, uh, is, uh, leading the, the, U the death. The, I'm very upset right now that U.S. is... Uh, the leading cause of death, you know, the death rate is over 70,000, and, uh, I'm just, you know, it's getting serious, because, you know, on the news, they say, um, uh, at first, uh, they say it's gonna be 362,000 deaths, now, to fast forward, they're gonna say it's gonna be, like, uh, 62,000 deaths, and now, they're saying it's gonna be 135, I mean, can't they just make up their mind already, I mean, we just, you know, wanna, uh, be at peace right now. We just don't want any more scares. And uh, also, um, like I said, I'm going to show you a few clips of when I stop at the store. I'm going to show you what uh, the stores look like. The store shelves are look like it right now uh, because uh, whatever you need, like you know, saying you need to get frozen foods, you need some uh, chicken breast, you need pork products or something like that. Anything you need is going to be gone because, you know, like I said, people want to be selfish, you know. Yeah, so, um, I'm just, you know, I've got to, I'm just over it already. So, 
and uh, okay, yeah, so I'm going to stop right here and uh, end this newscast from here, so uh, okay, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and you know, I can do something special for y'all, just name it in the comment section, and you know, I'm just going to try to post a video every week, um, and all that stuff, so be on the lookout and be prepared, okay? Okay, so until next time, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I am out. Peace.